Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM1019. Welcome to Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 5, Rise of a Pirate God. Alright. I'm a little I'm a little sad, guys. This is our uh, the beginning of our last Monkey Island adventure. This was the last Monkey Island game ever made. And we're not quite sure if we're ever going to get a new one. We don't know if Disney will ever sell back to Ron Gilbert. But uh, probably won't. So this is probably going to be the last of it. Uh, so I hope you're ready. I hope you've had fun. Let's begin our final journey. When we last left off, uh, LeChuck took all the voodoo out of La Sponja Grande and seemingly murdered in cold blood one Guybrush Threepwood in the arms of Elaine. Let's uh, see what happens. How could it possibly get any lower? Here lies Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Where am I? I can't see a thing. Where is all this dirt coming from? Maybe I'll just take some to get it out of the way. Mm. Hey, I think I can see some light. Uh, let me just grab some more of this dirt. Hey! Well, that doesn't seem I right. Believe it. I've been buried alive. Again. Uh, Guybrush. Hey, my hand is back. Uh-oh. Well, this really can't be good. Where am I? You ever hear the river sticks? Hmm. So apparently there are grog machines in uh in purgatory. Who'd have thought? I don't see one of those every day. Hmm. Die grog, cherry grog, grog XD. Hmm. Nothing. Alright, how about grog? Hmm. Nothing. Die grog? Hmm. Nothing. Hmm. What about the change button? Hmm. Nothing. Nope. Alright, well. Looks like this machine only takes bills. Guess we're not getting anywhere there. Do a tip jar. Wow. You do pretty good in tips. Do not touch. I wasn't gonna. I do. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, and I think I may be dead. I. Well, guess I'm dead. Nice outfit. Nice outfit. I... So am I really dead? Am I really dead? I... Really, really am I dead? Really, really dead? I... Completely dead? So, I'm completely dead. I... Hmm. Not just mostly dead? Not just mostly dead? I... Okay, look. You do still have a tiny shred of life you seem to be hanging on to, but for all intents and purposes, let's just call it dead. Dead. Hmm. Okay. Boat looks good. This boat looks immaculate. You'd never suspect it hauls around dead people all day. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Oh, hmm. do you go there too? Hmm, have we met? Have we met before? Hey. You look familiar, you sure? You look familiar. Are you sure we haven't met before? I... Pretty sure this is a callback to Curse. Uh, take me back to the land of living. Any chance you can take me back to the land of the living? Nay. Yep, so much for that. Uh, where are you going? Uh, where are you going in this boat? 
to the crossroads. Uh, why is there a grog machine here? Why is there a grog machine in the afterlife? For the thirst of eternal waiting. Hmm. Fair enough. I mean, it doesn't work. Can we go now, though? Can we go to the crossroads now? Pay me. How much? How much does it cost? The golden eyes of everlasting sleep. Eyes of everlasting sleep? I have to give you my eyes? Nay. I mean, I know that I'm dead, but I'm still rather attached to my eyes. Not Can I still see without them? I'm still really new to this whole being dead thing. It's a metaphor, you Philistine. Just give me the two gold coins that were placed on your eyes when you were buried. Oh, golden eyes of everlasting sleep. I get it. But wait, I wasn't buried with any coins. <laughs> Typical pirate. No coins, no crossroads. Interesting. So I guess pirates took after a little bit of Greek tradition. When they would bury uh, some of their dead, they'd place two drachmi over their eyes as they're uh, scored over the river Styx. But I don't think Guybrush has any of those. Um, I'll be back when I find some coins. I... I'm going to have to go find some. What do I have? Dirt and to shred a life. Hmm. For some reason, I've been able to cling to that single shred of life. Hmm. Well, I'm hanging on by a thread, quite literally. Um, doesn't bode all too well, so we should probably move and move quickly. Let's go down this way. Oh, hey, boy. Hiya, doggy. Come here, boy. Oh, I wonder if he's lost. Better take him with me. Yikes. Uh, maybe I should make friends with him first. Yeah, good idea. Uh, let's see, what else can I interact with? R.I.P. Phineas McDriver, a.k.a. Shark Fightin' Finny, a.k.a. Shark Bait. Died from a bear attack. Uh-huh. Okay. Guy brushed three foot. Mighty pirate. Uh, at least they finally got the last name right. Can I go up to the gravestone? Behold the remains of our dear Captain Barrett, pecked through the brains by his mutinous parrot. Ugh. Um... Man, there's not a lot to interact with around here, is there? Noogie liked bongos and wooing the ladies. He turned on his brothers who sent him to Hades. Oh, Noogie died. That's a shame. Here lies Frederick Pirate, loving husband, devoted father, pillar of the community, hanged because of a terrible misunderstanding. Oh. Hmm. The dog is digging at something. Hiya, doggy. Come here, boy. Yikes. Uh, maybe I should make friends with him first. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to, but I don't have any dog treats. It just kind of looks like he's digging, but it looks like he's digging aimlessly. Here lies what's-his-name. May we never forget. <laughs> wow, that boat is almost too clean. Oh, okay. So something about the boat, it sounds like. Let's go examine the boat, I guess. Not the tip jar. It's gondola. It's so clean, despite the fact that it's basically moving through a river of ectoplasmic sludge. I... Well, why did you tell me about the boat if that wasn't the hint you wanted to give Seriously, me? Seriously, that boat is spotless. I'm very impressed. I... Do I keep interacting with it? You must clean it every chance you get to keep it so clean. I... You must clean it every mm. chance you get to keep yeah, it so okay, clean. Yeah, okay, so that's not getting me anywhere. I... All right, let's see. Gotta be some drachmi somewhere. Hmm, nothing. Yep, nothing in the coin slot. I can't go outside that way. And I can't go back up the hill. can interact with the well I can interact with the tip jar but you must clean it every chance you get to keep it so clean I oh this is a shame I'm already a little lost um let's see let's think this through gotta get some money um oop okay well I'm not even gonna <laughs> BS this. Um, I can't just take the tip jar. Let me just count that up for you. 
Do not touch. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, hmm. What can I gather from the boat? Oh, wait a minute. I got an idea. Egan. I... Can I tell him that he's got... I found a dog. Is it yours? I found a dog. Is it yours? Nay. Oh, wait a minute. I got an idea. I didn't think of this earlier. Um... I'll be back when I find some coins. I... He seems to take pride on how clean his boat is. What if we made it dirty? I think you missed a spot. Nay. There's a big smudge of filth right there. What? Ugh, pig knuckles. I just polished that too. Run, kids. Hmm. And now let's just... He's got plenty of money in there. I'll just take a little. There we go. Uh, a whole eight. Here you go, fairy man. Here's some cash for the ride. Exact change only. Ah, oh, brother. Seriously? You won't even make change for me? Nay. Huh. Okay, I guess we're doing this. Hang on, let me go buy a grog. Nope, come on. Great. Now, what am I thirsty for? How about grog XD? Grog XD. Oh, this must be that new high-energy grog that all the kids are drinking these days. It's sold out. Just fine by me. Kerosene and battery acid tend to keep me up at night. Fine, just a grog then. Mm, cool, refreshing grog on the go. For when you need that extra something to face your day. Um, hello? Change, please. Hmm, nothing. What? 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 Oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to buy the grog. Just make it make change. Ah, oh, brother. Hey, you missed another spot, buddy. I think you missed a spot. Nay. There's a big smudge of filth right there. What? Pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna steal another dollar. Maybe just a little more. Okay, well, now I got a grog and I got some change. Great. Now, what am I thirsty for? Not thirsty for anything. Give me change. Hey, it made change for me. Okay. Let's go. Coins. Here you go. Two pieces of eight. Here you are. Two gold coins. Please take me to the crossroads. I... Please enter the boat single file. While the boat is in motion, you must keep your hands and feet inside the boat at all times. The ferry to the center of the crossroads is not responsible for any belongings left on the boat after departure. Mm. Uh. Hmm. Ferryman's gone. About that, but without the flash of enlightenment, old Caleb can't get a good exposure. Come buy a souvenir picture. Uh, no thanks, I don't have any money. Is that so? Well, let's just see what you have on you. Nothing. Indeed, you are broke. Well, when you do get your hands on some cash, which will probably be pretty soon on account of your being a pirate and all, don't forget to come back and purchase this lovely commemorative photo of your very own spirit entering the crossroads. That's fine. Just stay out of my pockets, will ya? Hmm. All right. Rise of the pirate god.
Okay, let's see. So... Gala probably knows something, let's see. Excuse me? I have a few questions for you. What's on your mind, Dreepwood? What is the crossroads? Where am I? And what is the crossroads anyway? The crossroads are where the physical and spiritual realms meet, and where your journey into the afterlife begins. From here, you can choose your final fate to fulfill your pirate destiny in Fila's Green. Or maybe you'll just mope about like a schlub. Personally, you look a bit like a moper to me. Uh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? You might say I'm a lost soul trying to find my way, but I can't seem to find my guide dog. I've been here a long time, so if you get lost and need some guidance, you come see me. Hmm, okay, well, we know what that dog is. Uh, do you know the voodoo lady? Do you know the voodoo lady? Can you be a bit more specific, maybe a name? I've known a lot of voodoo ladies in my time. I, uh, never got her name. Uh, there's a shred of life in my pocket, why? I noticed I have a shred of life in my pocket. Why? Everyone shows up with something that they cling to. You must have thought that staying alive was pretty important for some reason. Well, yeah, I... Me? I brought a corn dog. I love corn dogs. Uh, where'd the boatman go? Where did the creepy boatman go? His only job is to ferry arriving souls to the crossroads where they can choose their eternal destination. Once he's done his job, he'll no longer appear to you. Also, he said he had to leave early for his sister's baby shower. Uh-huh. Um, I can't stay here. Has anyone ever been able to return to the land of the living? No, nope, never. No, sir. Can't be done. Are you sure no one has ever been able to return to the land <coughs> of the living? Whoever told you a thing like that? Of course it can be done. Why, I remember a handsome young pirate who returned to the land of the living once, hoping to reunite with his one true love. That's what I need to do. Le Chuck, I think his name was... Well, Chuck, but he came back to life as, in order, a ghost, a zombie, a demon, a living statue, and a killer walrus. I don't want to be any of those. Killer walrus? How did that happen? I think that true love thing worked out too well for him either. Things started getting awfully crowded around here after he returned to the living. Well, how did the Chuck escape? He just grabbed himself aboard, caught a gnarly wave, and was out of here. Are you lying to me? What, what did I say? That he surfed his way out. What? No, that'd be stupid. LeChuck returned to the world of the living with a powerful voodoo spell that he obtained from the other side. A spell? Yep. And if there's one thing I know about, it's spells. What happened to the spell LeChuck used to return to the land of the not dead? Some say it is locked away in a vile treasure chest and hidden somewhere in the crossroads. But no one knows for sure. Well, it's been great talking to you, strange old man who kind of smells like olives, but I don't plan on sticking around here in the afterlife. My wife is still alive out there somewhere. You do that. Might be surprised at what you find when you get there, though. What do you mean? I died like two minutes ago. <whistles> hmm? Huh. Okay. Let's see. So here's the crossroads, I think. This must be the center of the crossroads. Yes. This is the point at which every soul must choose their ultimate pirate path. You may choose sword mastery, thievery, or treasure hunter. Three. How piratey. Hmm. The center of the crossroads. Okay. Well, that sounds fun. I think I can take the boat wherever I want. Alright, so here's the gateway, there's the crossroads center, and there's three places I can go. Let's check out the sword fighting area. Well, that looks like a familiar model. Uh, can I get up there? Mast. Oh, yep, climb the mast. Here we go. <coughs> oh, 
Ah, it is! Whoa. Morgan! Ahoy, matey! I see another swordsman be coming to challenge me for entrance into an afterlife full of sword play and swashbuckling. Very well. Let's test your wit. Thank goodness, you're all right! Hey, I be talking to you. No, I'm not all right. I'm dead. Apparently you are too. Now go away. Well, you'll be happy to know that I obliterated your murderer. You destroyed LeChuck? What? Death must have scrambled your noggin. LeChuck killed me. DeSinge killed you. Ah, uh, hello. Sword fighter looking for a challenge over here. Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. DeSinge? But you said... That's just great. My one shot at redeeming myself, and Mr. Mighty Pirate can't be bothered to properly listen to my death rattles. But... And on top of that, he sullies my reputation as a kick-butt pirate hunter by insinuating that I couldn't beat a whip wristed wig-wearing sissy boy like to singe with two arms tied behind my back! Sorry? God, I'm depressed. Look, I'm not planning on sticking around this land of the creepy. I got unfinished business with a chuck, and my wife is still in danger. I'm probably gonna need some help getting out of here, and you are my only friend. Forget it. I'm a worthless, backstabbing traitor with poor communication skills. I don't even deserve to be your friend. Anyone? All you need is to get a little fight back in you. Come on, grab your sword and fight me. No, I won't fight an unarmed man. I be armed. Fight me. Fight me. Well, I'm not done with you yet, lady. I'll be back. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. I'll just wait over here then. All right, this is how we're going to do it, huh, Morgan? Hey, give me the sword. Pardon me, mind if I borrow this? Hey, the Chuck stuck that in me for a reason, you know. Yeah, and now Chuck? it's my reason. Hi. He came back after me and me mate stole some gold turtle from him. He chopped off me head and asked me to hold that for him. In your decapitated head? Yeah. Oh, he just wanted to kill me, huh? That'd be my guess. Aye, that makes sense. Hmm, thought you sounded familiar. All right, Morgan, let's fight. Come on. Why won't you fight me? What's the point? On your feet, Mo. Fine. Yes, now we're talking. I'm getting in on this action. My career as a pirate hunter was about as successful as my career as a marathon runner. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Okay, so you remember all the times we used to play insult sword fighting? So this is a little different. We have to... This is a three-way fight, so we have to insult this guy and make Morgan feel better at the same time. Um... Let's see. Alright, hold on, what'd you say? Wait, I got confused. Can you two say that again? My career as a pirate hunter was about as successful as my career as a marathon runner. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me. And nobody ever will. Okay, so you run that fast? You run that fast? Smaller men quiver at my unmistakably masculine swagger. The way I wave this sword around, it's like I'm a little boy. Uh... Believe me, you're all woman. Believe me, you're all woman. I'm useless. I can barely even lift my sword. There certainly is a foul smell coming from this fight. Um. Uh, let's see. Oh, come on. That's oh, probably just on. you. That's probably just you. You know what? You're probably right. Whoops. No, I was talking to get it. I'm useless. Oops. <sighs> All right, try that again. Ungard. Fine. Yes. I'm the most cunning pirate on the seven seas. Do you know what my IQ is, boy? Seriously, on a scale of one to ten, how terrible a person am I? That one's easy. Um, negative one, if that. Negative one, if that. Smaller men quiver at my unmistakably masculine swagger. The way I wave this sword around, it's like I'm a little boy. Trust me, you're all woman. Believe me, you're all woman. My career as a pirate hunter was about as successful as my career as a marathon runner. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, 
and nobody ever will. You run that fast? You run that fast? You know what? You're right. I was a darn good pirate hunter. Sure, I made a couple of bad decisions, and my enunciations could apparently use some work, but as long as we are both here in the crossroads, I can still make it up to you. You can't match my witty repartee. I could if you would use some breast spray. Wow, I didn't think that you had it in your last. Now my head and I can move on, and you can be the guardian. You just have to stay here until someone comes and challenges you. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well, you deal with that on your time. I'm off to battle on the endless seas of Davy Jones' locker. You know what? I think I will stay here and challenge the weak and unworthy for a while. I knew you had it in you, Mo. Listen, I am sorry for the way I betrayed you. If there is any way I can help you, just ask. Well, let's see. Hey, you. What's up? Uh... Are you sure it wasn't to singe? Are you sure it wasn't to singe who killed you? You sure acted guilty. Didn't you pay any attention to my dying words? I clearly said, don't trust LeChuck. He's hypnotized a bunch of monkeys and ran me through with my own blade. That's weird. I heard you say, to singe is a schmuck. When he got thirsty, he killed me for some lemonade. In my defense, it should be noted that you were coughing up a lot of blood at the time, so something may have gotten lost in the translation. Hmm. Okay, did Caleb try to sell you a spirit photo? Did Caleb try to sell you a picture of your spirit at the crossroads, too? He tried, but I don't like people taking pictures of me. It's bad for my business. Sounds like he got his camera fixed by the time you got here, though. Hmm. Did you have a shred of life, too? When you crossed over, were you still clinging to a shred of life, too? Shred of life? No. But I guess it makes sense for you, considering everything you left behind. Hmm. Okay, uh, what was important to you? What would you say was the most important thing to you when you were alive? My independence, probably. I liked being my own woman. Still do. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea how to get out of here. Guybrush, forget it. We're dead. Yeah, but LeChuck was once able to escape using a voodoo spell. I just need to find it. Really? There's a chance I can return to the living world and continue to take down pirates? Present company excluded, of course. Seems that way. Well, if I can help in any way, let me know. All right, you'll be the first to know, Morgan. I don't think I'm allowed to. Good luck with the sword fighting gig. I'll be back. Hmm, okay. Well, Morgan's feeling better, which is helpful for us. So, let's go take another look at some place. Uh, let's see. Let's check out the Thieves' Den. Welcome. Welcome, fellow thief. You are a thief, aren't you? Of course you are. You wouldn't be here if you weren't, am I right? Of course I'm a thief. Excellent. Make yourself at home. Feel free to look around. We have many valuable stolen items here. I keep them around as trophies. Hmm. Autographed sextants. Hey, nice. I had a collection of autographed sextants, too. Do you have a Vasco de Lama? Ah, <laughs> I'm sure that I do. Wow, what a coincidence. Hmm. Yeah, coincidence. What's the story behind this? I lifted that right out of the pocket of Betsy Bilgewater. Stealing that was easy. Trying to steal a kiss got me a swift kick to the boys. Yikes. Hmm. Uh, what's this box? Hey. What's in this thing? That? Oh, that's a secret. Oh, what kind of secret? If I knew that, it wouldn't be a secret. Well, can I open it? How'd you manage to steal this? Mm. Funny story. I was running a con on Dead Eye Drake, trying to get at his collection of gold cannonballs, when he hauls out this thing and asked if he can have it shipped back home. <laughs> I even charged him 300 pieces of eight to do it. Oh, how that guy survived as a pirate for more than two years is beyond me. Wow. So, no, seriously, I want to know about this box. Hey, what's in well, that? Yeah, 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 that yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, I don't have my hook anymore. That's all right. So I can't just interact with that. This is nice. Where'd you get this from? Ah, that I stole from Captain Bloodbeard himself. 
just after his crew mutinied and made him walk the plank from the crow's nest. Yikes. Oh. Well, sounds like there's a lot to talk about here, and uh, always not enough time to do it. Let's uh, figure this more out next week. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun, and don't forget to follow me on twitch.tv slash channel. And until then, I'll see you next week for another episode of Rise the Pirate God. So take care. Bye-bye.